players and euphonium players, I'm going to make a, kind of one video for both of your instruments at the same time. Um, this is a tuba, uh, but we, we will talk about euphonium and the tuba as well. Uh, just since they're in the same family and they're very similar, so I will just do kind of one uh, assembly and hand position video for both of those instruments. Uh, and then we'll kind of go through and do some other videos after on how to make a sound. Uh, just to make sure that we're all getting a good start at learning our instruments for this year. So this, like I said, is a tuba, uh, but basically a uh, low brass instrument. This is the lowest brass instrument in the family of the brass instruments, lowest instrument in our band. Uh, and then euphonium is, of course, a little bit smaller, a little bit more compact, um, but that's kind of like the, the mummy and the daddy of the, the brass section for sure. So the two biggest instruments in the, in the brass section, the lowest sounds in our band. So basically, you guys have a really easy job of putting your instrument together. Um, you've got your instrument that's already assembled in your case, and you've got your mouthpiece. So basically, what you need to do when you get your instrument out of your case is you grab it, you take it back to your chair, you take your mouthpiece into your mouthpiece receiver, uh, which is the hole that you put your mouthpiece into. You just kind of put it gently in, give it about a half of a twist. That's all you need to do. So we're not jamming things into our instrument. We're not, you know, twisting as hard as we can to make it stay in there. You just need to carefully place it in place, give it a half of a twist, and then you're done. Okay, so this uh, tuba mouthpiece, same thing for euphonium as well. You don't need to force it because what happens is if you start to force it every time you play it or if you're kind of slamming it in with the end of your hand, uh, it makes a really neat sound when you do that. But what happens is, is you're pushing that mouthpiece further and further into that mouthpiece receiver. And eventually what will happen is it will get so stuck in there that you will need to have instrument surgery done and they will need to actually cut off that whole pipe of your instrument and replace it. Uh, and being a school instrument that you're using, those repair costs will be directed back to you to pay. So you always want to take care of your instrument. You never want to force things into your instrument when you're playing. Uh, and you always want to make sure that when you take your mouthpiece out, you're just giving it a twist, remove it, and then you're done and you're ready to put everything away. So you want to be very careful with that. You never want to force things. Otherwise, this metal expands and your mouthpiece gets stuck further and further and further inside. And eventually they have to cut that whole piece off at the repair shop to fix that and replace that. A brand new tuba costs about $4,000. A brand new euphonium is about $2,800 or $3,000 for some of them. So you want to be very careful with your instruments because you definitely don't want to have to buy a brand new instrument if that ever happens. So always learning the right way of putting things together is very important so it saves you expensive repair costs down the road. So a mouthpiece gets placed into the mouthpiece receiver and you just give it a half of a twist and then you walk away. You're done. You're ready to play. Okay. For hand position, uh, basically your left hand is going to come around the front of your instrument and it's going to kind of hold along uh, any of those slides that are on the front of your instrument. All those tubes that are on the front, you're going to find kind of a comfortable position. If you have long arms, you can probably reach all the way across. If you have kind of shorter arms or you can only reach about halfway, that's okay. Find a comfortable place to grab there. And that's going to help to kind of stabilize your instrument when you're playing. And it's going to help you to hold a lot of the weight of your instrument when you're playing it. Okay, then uh, you're going to kind of bring it. If you're a tuba player, you're going to slide your bum all the way back on your chair. And your tuba is going to rest right on the edge of the chair between your legs. So you're going to have room there for it so that when you go to play it, you're going to be right at mouthpiece height and you're going to be holding around those tubes on the front to hold it so it's not going to slide off and clunk you in the head and your right hand is going to be resting right on top of the valves so right hand fingers go right on top of valve one two three goes along with finger one two three so you uh, are always going to have just those three fingers and you're going to try to press up and down uh, all the time when you're moving those valves. You want to make sure you're trying to press straight up and down. If you start kind of playing with flat fingers or lazy fingers and you're kind of just kind of doing whatever, they're going to get stuck and they're not going to pop up again when you need to use them. 
So you want to make sure that you're, you're pressing straight up and down on those valves to make sure that they're always going to work well for you when you have to change between your notes. So it's exactly the same thing for euphonium, uh, except for euphonium players, you're going to have your legs together on your chair, uh, sitting with your feet flat on the floor, and you're going to still sit with your back all the way to the back of your chair. And your euphonium, you're going to kind of give your instrument a hug. So you're going to kind of hug around the front of the instrument with your left hand, and you're going to kind of angle it a little bit too. So you're going to kind of hold your instrument off to a slight angle so that you can reach your mouthpiece. Your left hand is still holding and hugging around the front of your instrument, and then your fingers are still going to be on your valves. So euphoniums are going to be off to a slight angle when they play, uh, and you're not going to be holding it straight up and down like the tuba, but just because of the size of the tuba, we're going to rest it on our chair down in front of us between our legs. Euphoniums, you're actually going to hold up with your left hand and bring that mouthpiece to your mouth. If you need to hold it up a bit higher, if you're taller, then you can easily do that with your arms, right? So you're holding up with your left arm, hugging around those slides on the front of your tuba or your euphonium. Okay, right hand is always going to press the valve straight up and down. Same for both euphonium and for tuba, okay? So that's about it for hand position and assembly for your instruments. Uh, we will go over in the next video, we're going to go over actually making a sound and playing those instruments and then changing the valves as well. Okay, good luck.